Hello and welcome everyone. It is time for Jim Comics Top Picks for New Comic Book Day this upcoming Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. We have got another good week of books coming, although a, a little lighter than the last couple, which is okay because my wallet is uh, really hurting from the last few weeks. But we still got some good books in there and uh, I'll get into my picks as usual and what I'm looking at. All that. I'll touch on a few of the books I did pick up this week because I haven't done a whole video for a while. But before I do that, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all of my um, followers on Instagram and subscribers on YouTube. You're all awesome. Uh, whether you agree or disagree with me, it's all good because we're talking comics, so it's all great. And I forgot to give Nick and Nick the Knob a shout out on his uh, Key Collector Comics app. Free one week trial if you want to try it out. Ton of good info. Um, I really I use it all the time, so it's great. Give it a shot if you haven't. If you if you have, hey, whatever, it's all good. Um, did a contest last week or held the contest anyways for um, Eden Sky. So I want to uh, announce the winner for that. It's uh, the four books that I uh, showed in my last video. I'm going to mail those out to whoever the winner is. And the winner, it, or I shouldn't say who the winner is. I drew a winner, uh, Jade Carter. So congrats to Jade Carter. He um, is the winner of those four books. So Jade, send me an email to jimcomics1844 gmail.com. I need your address. And I will package up the books and mail them out to you. I think he, I think you're in Canada, Jade. So I don't need your phone number because uh, it's only when I gotta send stuff across the border. But uh, yeah, just get in touch with me through email. Let me know where to send them, and I will send those books out to you. So congrats to you. I gotta give a special shout out to one of my uh, longtime uh, YouTube subscribers, Mr. Gino Benino. He, uh, I was, I follow him on Instagram as well, and he posted that he's got a, uh, he got a walk-on spot in an upcoming uh, season of Hightown, the the sh the series. So, congrats to you, man. That is awesome. I'm really, I'm really stoked for him. That is just so cool. I'm gonna have to get his autograph pretty soon because he's becoming a famous dude. <laughs> So I guess he plays like a restaurant manager or something in there. So anyways, it's it's really cool. I, I'll put an image on the screen there of, of um, his post. It's just, uh, I'm just, I, anytime I see anybody that, uh, you know, has been a subscriber or Instagram, anyway, that's, that's um, you know, got some success, man, I that's awesome. I love to see that. So congrats to Gino. And I also got to give a big shout out to Wolf Warner. He's, um, he and I have talked about Immortal Hulk quite a bit. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. But um, he's finally, he put out a video this week, first one in, oh, I want to say like eight months, man. It was so, I, Wolf, I just want to say it was really good to see you back. Love watching your videos. Love the music you're playing in the background. He's just got a, he's got a good vibe about his uh, videos. So uh, go check out his channel if you haven't. I, I really like listening to Wolf. So anyways, Wolf Warner's back. He's in the house. Good to have you back, Wolf. Uh, some of the books I did pick up this week, one of the ones, it was one of my picks of the week, uh, last week on uh, Key Collector and on my video, was uh, Haha ha Number One. I hope you got this one. It's, uh, I got both cover A, B, and C. The C is just a pink cover, so, um, uh, but I like, I really like A and B, but man, it was typical uh, Ice Cream Man style, very similar, you know, obviously Prince, Maxwell Prince is the writer, and it's the artwork and the and the writing is very similar to Ice Cream Man. So if you missed out on Ice Cream Man number one, which a lot of people did, um, boy, I hope you got that one. <laughs> That's a good one. It's going to be interesting to see when they cross over, too, what's going to happen with that. And with no surprise, I got my Teen Future State Teen Titans number one with your Red X and a bunch of other characters in there. Um, that's a good book long term. Hang on to that one. I hope you got that one too. Immortal Hulk 42. I got the regular cover. I also got the um, homage, the uh, retro cover with uh, Silver Surfer and the Hulk on the Man, that's a great cover. I love the look of that cover. I wish they'd go back to doing more of the, the covers like that. Man, they're just, some of the covers back in the day were just so good. Not that some of the ones now aren't good, but I really like that. Uh, that was awesome. So, anyways, got that. And I want to talk real quick about this. So, if you haven't read Immortal Hulk 42, turn it off or skip ahead or whatever you got to do. But, um, been talking about Jackie McGee for a long time and I, I talked about how in issue 44 the solicitation said something strange has happened to Jackie McGee and in this issue you see that uh, her eyes are going all green and she's um, more or less becoming a gamma mutate and 
and then the next page you see when she looks at things i don't know if she's looking through the green she got the power to look through the green door or if it's just part of her transforming to what she's going to become or who knows but uh something has definitely happened with jackie mcgee so pay attention to that and that again remember folks her first appearance i talked about this a while back was immortal hulk number one which is a great book to get awesome alex ross cover I also have the uh, 1 for 25 uh, Clayton Crane cover and the Keown 1 for 50. Those I bought when uh, all these when it came out initially. So uh, if you come across those at a decent price, worth picking up. The prices are starting to creep up on those. And they used to be ratio, right around ratio for the longest time. It's kind of funny. Lately, they, they're really climbing up. But it's the way it goes. Everything's climbing up nowadays. But yeah, Mortal Hulk number one, really good book long term. Because I don't know where Jackie McGee is going, but uh, something's coming with her. That is for sure. So pay attention to that. And don't if you drop that series, man, get that back on your pull list. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show some of those books I got this week. So ones I'm looking at this week, like I say, it's kind of a lighter week, which is I'm okay with because man, my wallet is uh, these last couple weeks I had some really really good books uh, from Boom Studios. Got Abbott 1973 number one, four covers for that, and it uh, looks like that one's getting uh, developed. So worth grabbing this uh, this series if you haven't grabbed the first one. Grab the this uh, the series. There's four covers for that. Boom puts out nice stuff, and they do. I, what I really like is they put nice quality paper on their covers instead of the crap paper that Marvel and DC have been doing lately. Although DC is funny, they've been putting some decent stuff on some of theirs. Um, talking about DC, that's all I got for indies from DC. I got Future State Superman Worlds of War number one. You got two covers for that. Uh, I think cover B is a cardstock, and if I, my memory serves me, it's a Federici cover. It's a really nice cover. Uh, but that's your first appearance of Black Racer, uh, a female version of Black Racer anyway, so that'll be interesting. Uh, that's one worth picking up. It's funny, all these Future State books, most of them are, well, not most of them, but a lot of them are dropping new characters. Some are, yeah, whatever, but um, I'm not going to get that one. And like I say, that Teen Titans, boy, that's a good one. I hope you got that one long term. Then we got Future State Next Batman, uh, first appearance of Siren, and there's three covers for that one. Um, anything Batman... Uh, it's worth picking up that's all i can say especially when they're changing stuff around long term it's a good one to get i know some people are like ah, i'm not getting these future state books but I, I really think you're going to regret that if you skip all these i think long term they're going to be they're going to be worth happening i mean change happens all the time through comics marvel went through it dc goes through it and a lot of you know everybody doesn't want change but sometimes you just gotta pick up the books anyways because man oh man you're going to regret it down the road but anyways for Marvel, got Daredevil 25. It's the second print. You got two covers for it, which is kind of interesting. You got your regular cover A, which is the splash page from inside the book. It's a really nice cover. And then you've got the uh, one for 25 as well. So there's two covers for that one. The one for 25. Uh, if you can get that for a ratio, it would probably be worth getting, but uh, it just depends on what shops are charging for it. I'm just going to get probably the regular cover A myself, um, unless I can get it for a decent price, but we'll see. Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon. You got a bunch of covers for that one. Team up of a bunch of characters in there. Shang-Chi, Iron Fist, and somebody else who I cannot remember. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to grab cover A. I'm not going to worry about all the other ones. A lot. Of, it's funny, Marvel puts out like, a ton of covers for a lot of these books, and half of them suck balls. But anyways, I'm going to get uh, cover A. And last one for Marvel is King in Black, number three. Got a bunch of covers for that one as well. And again, I'm just getting cover A. And I'm not buying all the tie-ins. I, I said that right from the start. Um, Absolute Carnage. I think I bought every one. Uh, same with War of the Realms. And man, I won't be doing that again. <laughs> I'm definitely going to pick and choose the ones I want. So that's it for my books this week, folks. My picks are pretty pretty slim pickings this week. I'm going to go with that Superman Worlds of War. Um, I'm gonna, that's one of them. Daredevil 25. Uh, probably just the one for 25. I mean... I. Again, remember, just with, I just one thing I forgot to mention, Daredevil 25, the uh, print run on this second print is going to be pretty high. So don't expect this to be a $100 book because it's just not going to happen. It's definitely one um, I would recommend getting, uh, but don't load up on 50 covers cause, or copies because it just ain't worth it. But if the one for 25, that one would be worth getting. And then at Abbott 1973, number one, that's another one to get. That's kind of a later week this week. But I do have a... Um, uh, spec book for you and this is one i gotta give a shout out to um jason burgos i hope i'm pronouncing your right your name right jason 
And this is revolving around the character Azari T'Challa. He is not even listed on um, Key Collector Comics app. So if you go look him up right now as you're watching this video, you'll notice he's not even on there. It's a really good book to get. There's actually two books I'm recommending you pick up. Um, I only have issue number six myself, which is the full appearance of Azari T'Challa and the whole Next Avengers team. And I'm gonna get, I'll explain it all and just if, bear with me here. The reason I got all these books in the background, the reason for this is uh, um, Michael Bendis or Brian Michael Bendis. He did all these. He's behind obviously Riri Williams. He's behind um, Miles Morales, Naomi. And this character, for I have no idea why nobody's paying any attention to this character, but Azari T'Challa is the son of the Black Panther and Storm. They were kind of a pretty big power couple for a while. Um, obviously, they're not anymore. But um, anyways, they had a son together, Azari uh, T'Challa. And Azari T'Challa became part of the next Avengers in this storyline. Um, it's technically kind of in the... It's in a different... It's in the past at a different timeline kind of thing which is typical of of comics but i'll hear a lot of you know remember miles morales is a totally different universe and now he's in the is the main universe so i mean all they got to do is write it in there's a ton of potential because as part of the next avengers you've got these are the sons and daughters of the first generation of avengers you've got obviously azari t'challa you got francis barton james rogers henry pym jr and torin thor's daughter so they make up it's the first appearance of all of them in that book it's um, pretty much uh, cover price right now for all the books. There's a ton of covers for it. So there are um, first print, second print. There's a regular uh, direct edition for number one. There's also a newsstand edition. There's one for 25s, one for 50s, one for 75s. There's a whole bunch of covers. So pick what you want. Personally, I'm just going with cover A's. They're all cover price. I actually picked these up for half price in the back issue bins just this past week. Uh, it's book I, books I didn't have, but they're dirt cheap. Just be aware that issue number one was a pretty high print run. It was 163 plus thousand. And then issue number six drops down to around 73,000. So number six is the full appearance. I'm going to put an is image of issue number one on the screen. So that's cover A right now. And then in that issue, you get one splash page of the next Avengers with all those characters. So, like I say, you got Azari T'Challa, Francis Barton, James Rogers, Henry Pym Jr., and Thorin or Torin Thor's daughter make their first. It's just that one image on that. Uh, so basically, a cameo in issue one, kind of in the shadows on on the first page, and then uh, in the middle of the page, and then you got the big splash page with them. So technically that's kind of a cameo. And then issue number six, it's a full appearance of all the characters. So one and six are the two books you want to get. And what happens is in issue number one, you're looking, that's the, the start of the, uh, the story, but you're looking, that's looking into the future to the end of this issue number six. And then after that, for those first couple of pages, the story starts and leads up to issue number six, where again, you see that image. So it kind of, it shows you what happens and then, and then it leads up to it in this issue number six. Really good potential because being the son of Black Panther, as you know, um, we lost um, Mr. Bozeman this year or last year now. And um, Ke uh, Kevin Feige said they're not going to get another character to play the Black Panther, which I like. So it means somebody's going to and move in. Either the role's going to shift to Cherie, which a lot of people are specking on. But is there potential that you could get Azari T'Challa, the son of the Black Panther, somehow coming in and taking over the role or whatever? That would be really interesting. I don't know. But you've also got... This character is really intriguing and a super good spec because he's also... Um, the son of Storm, which has now got a tie into the X-Men. So you've got a tie to the X-Men and the Black Panther, as well as the next Avengers. He's, so there's, it could go anywhere. Who knows where it's going to go, if it goes anywhere. But with all the stuff coming out on Disney Plus nowadays, all the, all the series, and they're all tied to the movies and everything else, you know um, there's Young Avengers. I know that's another comic that's really hot. That's not tied to this one. That's, that came out quite a few years earlier. This came out in 2010. 
and it's based. Uh, he actually made his first full or first appearance in the movie Next Avengers Heroes of Tomorrow. That came out in two thousand eight. But first comic appearance is issue one and then six. So boy, I highly recommend you get those. Um, like I say, don't overpay for them. Don't pay stupid eBay prices. But right now, I mean, literally, they're all cover price. So that's what you want to do. That's the type of spec that man, it, it is a gold mine. You get it for cover or even less than cover. Look through the back issue bins and shops because I guarantee you there's a ton of them out there because, like I say, the the print issue print run on issue number one was 163000 so there's lots of them out there. So take a look for them, and especially number six because that's full appearance. There you go, folks. I had to throw that out there. Uh, happy hunting. Um, all the best to you. I will talk to you later in the week. Bye for now.